Early in his presidency, Barack Obama set a course for Mars. By the mid-2030s, I believe we can send humans to orbit Mars and return them safely to Earth. And a landing on Mars will follow. And I expect to be around to see it. And now, in an article published on CNN.com, Obama says the U.S. will partner with private industry in the journey to the Red Planet. Getting to Mars will require continued cooperation between government and private innovators, and we're already well on our way. Within the next two years, private companies will, for the first time, send astronauts to the International Space Station. NASA hopes the private companies will be able to advance their technologies by using resources previously only available to state-run space agencies. Six private companies have also been chosen by NASA to create prototype long-term space habitats for exploration of Mars. As the U.S. shifts to private-public space partnerships, several companies have their own Mars missions in the works. SpaceX aims to launch a manned mission to Mars in 2024. I think the future where we are, a space bearing civilization, and out there among the stars is infinitely more exciting and inspiring than one where we are not. Dutch firm Mars One hopes to have an outpost on Mars by 2025, speeding up the process by planning one-way missions. Well, I think when you hear at first that we're sending humans to Mars in 10 years, it sounds like a, a, an impossible time scale. But when you, when you realize that we don't have the return mission to take care of and we need only existing technology, uh, then you can realize that it's possible. The new U.S. initiatives extend private-public space partnerships to new levels, but NASA has always worked with private companies. The only difference is that we now have entrepreneurs. We have new space companies coming in 